Hi, Clayton at Springfield Leather here. We wanted to cover some more edge bevelers with you guys today. If you watched our other video, we covered three other bevelers. We covered the Craftmaster Keen Edge Beveler, the Osborne Number 125, as well as the Osborne Western Edge Bevelers. Now these, those edge bevelers will give you a rounded profile on the edge of your leather. Sometimes you want more of a straight beveled edge, kind of a chamfered angled edge. Um, so we're gonna cover a few bevelers that will kind of give you that effect. Uh, our first beveler is just our regular standard edge beveler is what we sell it as. It's got a straight edge here, a straight shaft, and just a couple forks there with your blade in between. We've also got our French edge skivers here. I've got a number one and a number three to kind of give you an idea of the size difference. These go up quite, a, quite a ways up in size and they'll get pretty large to take off quite a bit of material. And then we're also gonna cover the bisonette edge beveler made by Osborne. I've got a number two here, which is somewhat small, but it'll still take off a fair amount of material. Um, the nice thing about the bisonette is it's a push-pull edge beveler, so you've got two cutting edges. So, we'll go ahead and get started and show you some beveling techniques. We're going to start with our standard edge beveler. So this is going to give us a, a flat or straight chamfered edge. And I'll show you kind of how it runs along here, as long as you have it sharp. It should be a fairly smooth action. The key is to keep it angled in towards the leather and slightly out to kind of give you a consistent edge. You can see it's kind of hard to get started. And the main thing here is to get your beveling done in one consistent pass. If you try to go back and clean it up or, or uh, take a little more off, it's gonna be really hard to stay consistent with it. It'll take off more material. Sometimes it's not what you want. So that's our standard edge beveler. Another one that's very similar is our French edge skiver. I've got a number one here, which is, I believe, the smallest size. And it's going to give a very similar edge, just a, a uh, kind of an angled 45. And it does pretty well, again, as long as you keep it sharp, keep it angled towards the leather, and run along it in one smooth motion best as possible. You can tell that one kind of needs some sharpening. It was getting a little bit sticky, kind of grabbing onto the leather a little bit as I traveled down the edge. So we're going to go ahead and sharpen this beveler. Easy thing about this, it's got a flat bottom to it. So we're just going to go ahead and strop it on the back of a piece of veg tan with some jeweler's rouge. Go ahead and get some rouge on there. And I'll show you. You can really see it take off material. I always pull it towards me. You always want to strop it in one direction. You can see it starting to turn black there. It's taking off material and buffing that edge. And you will be astonished at how much better these bevelers will perform with a little bit of stropping. All right, try that. Grab another piece of leather here. Got a piece of burgundy latigo. I'm going to run down the edge again and see if it doesn't perform a little bit better. Yeah, that's much smoother, especially with something soft like a burgundy latigo like that. You can kind of feel it glide a little bit easier and take off that material. So that's a number one French edge skiver. I'll go ahead and do a pass with a number three and kind of show you the difference of how much material these bevelers will take off. We'll flip around here to the back and run along it. Now this, a much larger skiver, it's going to take some more force, but it takes off a good bit of leather. And that really, that, that pretty well will give you a 45 degree angle all the way down to the edge of the leather. And this is a, this is a piece of about 9, 10 ounce latigo. A lot of people will also use the French skivers, or the French edge skivers, to take material off from the middle of the leather and skive it down or make a channel. It's another useful thing. 
move on to the bisonette edge beveler. Again, this is a push-pull edge beveler. You can see it's got a hole in the middle there. And that gives you two cutting edges to, to work with. So same amount of sharpening, you can basically get twice the amount of beveling done, pushing and pulling. I'll grab another piece of leather here and kind of show you how these work. Again, keeping it slightly angled out and pushing in towards the leather and trying to keep a fluid motion. These won't take off nearly as much material as some of the other edge bevelers. Again, I believe this is a number two. And you can see how much little, how, how little leather it really removes. And just kind of gives you a nice angled edge there and knocks off that sharp corner. So we can go ahead and pull it back, take off a little bit more. And really, it, very sensitive to pressure. So the more pressure you put down on this thing, the more material it's gonna take off. It's also really handy for interior radius corners. If you're wanting to bevel around an interior corner, you can pull around it instead of trying to push through it. And you can kind of get in there and go both ways and kind of give it beveled out a little easier than, than with some other bevelers. So if you watched our other video on the rounded profile edge bevelers, we sharpened them with a piece of thread and jeweler's rouge. That's not going to work for these edge bevelers. Since they've got a, a, a flat blade, a flat bottom, you're really just going to want to sharpen them either on the back of a piece of veg with some rouge. Um, if they get super dull, you know, you can take them to a stone a little bit, but really some buffing is all that you'll need to maintain these. Um, you can run them along a beveled edge, you know, pull them backwards. So I'll show you that real quick. If you so desire, you can bevel your edge of veg tan, kind of cover it in jeweler's rouge or buffing compound there, and then trying to keep the same angle, it makes it a little bit more challenging, but sometimes you can get a little bit further into the tip of that blade. maybe get to a little burr that you weren't able to doing it on a flat piece of leather. You can see it took off a fair bit of material there. And that should keep it pretty sharp. Well that covers it for our flat edge profile edge bevelers, right? So we've got the Osborne Bisonette, we've got the French Edge Skyver, and then our standard Craftmaster Edge Beveler. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you got anything out of it. Let us know how we do. There'll be more to come. Thanks, guys.